is a good volume growth. Uh, it, is, it has nothing to do with wheat prices. On the contrary, uh, we have been able to further expand our market share in both flour, pasta, uh, noodle during the first quarter. Uh, let's have in mind, let's remember uh, that actually we have reorganized uh, our sales force in uh, uh, the last quarter of the previous year and now we focus on two different areas, first on wholesale and uh, business to business uh, uh, customers as well and uh, we have another sales force which is looking after retail customers. So with this focus it's enabled us to push our products even further in every part of Nigeria. Furthermore, we have uh, uh, reorganized internally our business into two uh, major uh, areas, food and agro -allied. So with this combination of internal focus and external focus, it enables us to generate incremental sales at basically no incremental cost. So when we look into this 10% uh, inc uh, increase in turnover uh, for, the, uh, uh, for the first quarter, it is actually very good, especially having in mind that we did not sell uh, uh, cement in the first quarter. So on a like-to-like -like basis, our turnover has increased by around 26% in the, first uh, in the first quarter of this year. We also saw operating expenditure go up 19.6%. What really is the reason uh, behind this increase? The increase of our uh, overheads, our operating expenses, are uh, directly related to our operating uh, activities. Uh, they are well under control, they are within our budget. Yes, it, they have increased by 19% as you mentioned. Uh, however, this is mostly related to both uh, incremental sales force organization preparing for the uh, next launch of uh, new products as well as uh, uh, obviously some uh, salary increases but uh, absolutely everything is absolutely normal. We are also investing in our supply chain activities and this is being reflected and uh, you will certainly see uh, the benefit in the coming quarters. Flour Mills has announced uh, that it plans a two by five farm, which of course specializes in high quality cassava flour. Now, what really is behind this acquisition? Uh, Thai Farm is actually a leading producer of uh, cassava flour in Nigeria, high quality cassava flour, this is important to note. Uh, there is a growing demand for cassava flour in Nigeria and uh, uh, also there is increased demand for uh, starch, sweeteners and by this acquisition we want also to be a leading player in this area in Nigeria. We have taken a uh, uh, majority stake in, uh, in this company, uh, which is a young company which is very well managed and uh, which is already producing uh, very good quality uh, uh, cassava flour. Now, uh, obviously there are needs to expand the uh, manufacturing capacity uh, of this uh, company. We are ready to do it. We are having plans. We are materializing uh, plans very soon. Investments, the amount of investments is probably a little bit too early to talk about it probably in the range of at least 30 to 40 million dollars, uh, but it is yet to be confirmed. But as uh, disclosed today uh, by our press release, we said that we are ready to invest. Now the company also plans to acquire controlling stake in ROM oil mills. How much will this go uh, towards boosting market share uh, for flour mills? Yeah, actually we are extremely delighted uh, to propose at our next AGM, which will be held in September, uh, for our shareholders to approve the planned acquisition of Rome Oil. Rome Oil is actually uh, a leading edible oil manufacturer based in Ibadan and um, uh, by this way we are also entering a new range of products and uh, we are looking forward to further also expand uh, the uh, production of this uh, company and to play a major role in Nigeria. 
In terms of the outlook for flour mills going forward, now analysts say it doesn't look great. Uh, you have a 5% increase in wheat imports and of course uh, they say wheat prices are going to be volatile going forward, of course on the back of a drought over in the United States. Uh, what is the outlook? What is your outlook for your company? Yes, there have been an increase of uh, import uh, duty or levy of 15% effective 1st of July. This has uh, affected all uh, importers of wheat. Uh, obviously, uh, this will have an uh, increase in our input costs, which uh, we will have timely but mostly to pass it on to uh, our customers. We are here to run a profitable business. We believe we will be able to maintain our margin and still to further grow uh, this business.